proposed ART alignment in Metro Cebu. This is a continuation of the previous Chapter 3 video wherein we showed seven potential ART alignments for an ART Phase 1 project in Metro Cebu. A combination of one to three ART lines may be chosen to become the Phase 1 of the Metro Cebu ART project. This is the zoomed view of the seven ART alignments shown in double-colored lines. For this chapter, we will focus only on one ART line to demonstrate a simulation of a typical travel between its stations. The simulation starts from Marco Polo Station towards the CICC station. This is the same map as before, but plotted on a Google Earth satellite map. In 2023, Metro Cebu, with a population of 3.3 million, has no mass transportation system yet. Its primary mode of transport is mainly jeepneys or modernized jeepneys, which are actually minibuses. Shown in this map are their routes. Not included in the transport map are the secondary and other modes of transport. When the BRT, LRT, and ART will be installed in Metro Cebu, it will become the primary mode of transport. The other modes of transport will become the secondary and tertiary modes of transport. Let us zoom in on this part of Metro Cebu, where the proposed ART Phase 1 will be located. This is now the zoomed view of the area. This covers the area of the three most populous of the 13 cities and municipalities of Metro Cebu, namely Cebu, Mandawe, and Lapu-Lapu. This is a view of the layout of the six stations overlain on a road map of Metro Cebu. It will be noticed that most of the jeepney routes are concentrated in the old downtown area. This area used to be the center of economic activity in Cebu City 40 to 70 years ago. All classes of society flocked to this area for shopping and entertainment. Starting in the 80s, modern commercial parks sprouted in other areas, particularly northeast of the downtown area. The middle and upper income group with their cars shifted from the downtown area to this area. As a result, there is now more traffic congestion in this new area than the old downtown area. There are now more jobs and economic activities in this area. It has the highest concentration of medium-rise and high-rise buildings in Metro Cebu. Most roads are relatively narrow and there is a shortage of public transportation. The Marco Polo CICC line will particularly solve the horrendous traffic problem in this area. When completed, there will be more jeepney routes that will be created to serve this new center of economic activity in Metro Cebu. The more ART lines that will be built, the greater will be the reduction in vehicle traffic. This is a zoomed-in view of the alignment on a satellite map. We will show a simulation of the travel between the six stations. The Marco Polo is an end station. In this photo, you will see two pocket lanes on both sides of the road for convenient loading and unloading of passengers. Correspondingly, there will be two pedestrian lanes with synchronized traffic lights to allow passengers to walk safely on both sides of the road. An alternate to a ground pedestrian crossing would be a pedestrian flyover.
From this top view, you can see a space of private car parking, bicycles and electric scooters, car taxis and motorcycle taxis, modernized jeepneys, and buses. We now proceed to the JY Square Intermediate Station. This JY station and succeeding stations, some details will no longer be shown. Their amenities will be similar to that of the Marco Polo station. We now proceed to the IT Park station. We now proceed to the Central Business Park or CBP station. We now proceed to the Subang Dako station. We now proceed to the Cebu International Convention Center or CICC. These are more details of three selected stations from Marco Polo to IT Park. We will show a simulation of the travel between the three stations. This will give viewers a more realistic view of the ride. This is a more detailed simulation of the travel from Marco Polo to JY to IT Park stations. This is the Marco Polo end station. This is a detailed picture of the guarded parking for electric scooters and bicycles.